Okay, today is Sunday, November the 20th, and it's sunny, warm outside. It's almost 70 degrees here today in western North Carolina, so I thought I'd make a quick video on how to cook on the mini Weber Smoky Mountain that we built from the Smoky Joe Grill and the cheap Chinese tamale pot that we bought from Walmart. First of all, I'll show you a little bit about the anatomy of the cooker. It's just a simple Weber Smoky Mountain, I'm sorry, a Weber Smoky Joe grill lid and the tamale pot and then the base of the grill, which we've made a few modifications to in the base. We used the standard charcoal grain that came with the grill and we bought an inexpensive stainless steel pet water bowl from Walmart and drilled some air holes in it. And we set that right over the air intake holes in the bottom of the grill to keep ash from choking that and breaking down the airflow. Then we'll just put the charcoal grate right back in there. And then we load that up with charcoal, unlit charcoal. And then we'll light, you know, a few bricks for a minion method burn. And then we'll just set the pot right back on. And then the lid, and we'll let it come up to temperature, and then we'll be ready to start cooking. Okay, we've loaded up some charcoal in the base of the smoker, put a few chunks of apple wood on there, ready to go. And we have our charcoal chimney down here loaded up with just a few, just a few charcoal bricks, not very many. We're gonna light those guys up and then we're gonna dump them straight onto the onto the grill. It's a little bit windy out here today, so we're having a little bit of difficult time getting the charcoal lit up. I've got a couple of the little Weber lighter cubes under there and I've had to make a windbreak to uh, see if we can get those lit. We've got about 15 coals or so in the chimney. Not very many, we don't need a whole lot because we wanna get a long burn. This uh, bacon explosion that we're going to cook doesn't take very long to cook, so we don't need an incredibly long burn, but uh, this technique that I'm showing you here is what you want to use when you're doing longer cooks as well. Okay, our charcoal is ready, so we're going to put it on. And then we're going to smooth it out just a little bit so we've got plenty of clearance for the rest of the smoker. And then we're going to set it on. And we're going to let that warm up for a while let it smoke and while it's uh, warming up we will get the bacon explosion ready. I'm going to bring it out here and set it up on the table so you can see how that goes also. As this smoker warms up, I've, when I put it together I fashioned a little uh, handle for the air vents right here with a four inch long carriage bolt where I can uh, adjust it. Currently it's fully open and all I have to do to close it down is slide it that way. So we're going to let that warm up to 250 or 275 and then we'll start shutting the air down to stabilize the temperature. Take a picture of it. Okay, we're ready to uh, put the bacon explosion together. Right here I took a one pound Jimmy Dean sage breakfast sausage and flattened it out in a Ziploc bag and then I cut the bag open and spread some uh, smoked Swiss cheese on it. So now we're going to roll that up. Just like that. And then to the right, I've made a bacon lattice. 
and we're going to lay this right on top of that and then roll it up. And that is a bacon explosion. The grill is almost ready to go, so we will put it on shortly. Okay, our smoker is up to temp and ready to go, so we are going to open it up and put our bacon explosion on. We're also going to insert a, a meat probe into it so we can know where to cook it to. Set it right in the middle. Put our meat probe right down in the middle of that guy. It's kind of hard to see what's going on in there. Let's have a closer look. So there she sits. We're going to cook that to an internal temperature of about 170 degrees. Okay, we're cooking right along at about 225 degrees. I went ahead and stuck a digital probe in also to check to see about the accuracy of my thermometer that's mounted there. So I have that food probe in there. And they're both registered about 225 and it's settled in there. We've been on for about 10 minutes now, so we're just going to let it ride until we get that guy up to about 170 degrees okay we're still cooking right along uh, we're about 50 minutes or so into the cook I've ramped the temp up to about 275 or so and I'm uh, gonna bring it on up to 300 so we can crisp up the bacon on the outside of this guy and uh, you can see here we're still at we're 276 degrees on that digital thermometer and this one's actually reading about 280, 280 or so. So they're pretty close to each other. And uh, we'll have a peek in here and see what's going on. Oh, yeah. That's what. Okay, our bacon explosion is ready. I had ramped the temperature up to around 300 degrees. So I'm going to shut the air vent down all the way. I have a clean piece of foil here. We're going to open it up, get this guy out, set it on the foil, and let it, let it rest for a little bit. It's a little bit breezy out here today. I'm having some trouble keeping everything where I want it. But that guy's ready to go. So we are going to pull it off. Man, I wish you could smell this. I've pulled the internal meat probe out. I'm going to pick that guy right up with our tongs here. Set it right here on the foil. If I move around the other side where we can see that color a little bit better. Yeah, that looks great. So we're going to wrap it up. And just roll it in the foil. And bend over the ends. And we're going to let it rest for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so before we uh, serve it with some breakfast dinner. And there's what it looks like inside. See all that cheese we put in there. It's got a nice smoke ring. Yum. I'm going to have breakfast for dinner as soon as the toast comes out of the oven.